Hello dear friends, welcome to the lecture of the Riemann integral. We are studying fundamental theorems of calculus. Earlier we have studied the first fundamental theorem of calculus and uh, some other theorems also we have studied. In this lecture we are going to study second fundamental theorem of uh, calculus. But before that we require this theorem which is I have written theorem number 8. We will use this to prove the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Theorem 8 is if uh, derivative of f is equal to derivative of g, f dash of x is equal to g dash of x for all x in the closed bounded interval uh, a to b then f minus g or that means f of x minus g of x is constant that is f of x can be written as g of x plus c. So, this is constant means this value is taken as c and then f will be g x plus c and this holds for every x in the interval a to b and c is real number c belongs to r means set of real number that is a constant. So, we shall prove the theorem and uh, to prove this theorem we shall make use of uh, the earlier theorem which is uh, theorem number uh, 7. What is the what was the theorem number uh, 7 we have if f dash of x is equal to 0 for all x in the interval a to b then f of x is constant and then f of x is equal to c. So, this uh, we have proved in this uh, interval a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b c is a uh, constant or real number. So, that uh, we shall make use of this theorem. So, we have given uh, this are these are equal derivatives are equal. So, we have f dash of x is equal to g dash of x or f prime is equal to g prime and this is for all x all x in the interval a to b and therefore, this implies. So, thus this gives f dash of x minus g dash of x is 0 in this interval or this can be written as f dash minus g dash we can write in short that is or this we should write as f minus g derivative of this. This is derivative of f minus derivative of g is 0 and that derivative of f minus g is equal to 0. Since by the rules of differentiation we have the derivative of f minus g is equal to derivative of f minus derivative of g. So, this rule we have used and thus this function becomes uh, 0 derivative of f minus g is equal to 0 and this is uh, this holds for a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b. Now, here we will use this uh, result theorem 7 derivative is 0 then the function is constant. So, this derivative derivative of f minus g is 0 that means f minus g is constant. So, by theorem 7 we have f minus g is equal to c and this is for all x between a to b where c is a constant where c belongs to r is a constant real number and thus uh, this uh, proves that f is equal to c uh, c plus g or g plus c. So, that is f of f is equal to g plus c or that means f of x we have written in short f as f uh, f of x as f and that is or f of x is equal to g of x plus c and again x is in the interval a to b where c belongs to r real number. So, this is what we wanted to show. So, it is a simple result if the derivatives are equal then the difference of the function is constant or one function is equal to second function plus a constant and this proves the result. Now, we shall prove the theorem number 9 which is the second fundamental theorem of uh, calculus. I shall write the statement here theorem 9. If f is continuous on the closed bounded interval a b and if pi dash of x is equal to f of x. This holds for 
all x bit uh, in the interval a to b then then integration of f of x integral of f of x from a to b is equal to phi b minus phi this is the result and again here also uh, a is uh, x is taking values from a to b so we have to prove this and uh, uh, we shall suppose here as uh, so this result we will uh, use in the this is the hypothesis of the theorem and we want to prove this result now we shall consider the proof what is the what is the first fundamental theorem of uh, calculus that uh, we have proved as theorem number 6 we will use that theorem for to prove the second uh, fundamental theorem of uh, calculus or i shall uh, name this as second fundamental theorem of uh, calculus this is theorem number 9 is second fundamental theorem of calculus now we have by theorem 6 which is the first fundamental theorem of calculus we have if f is continuous on the closed bounded interval if f of x capital f of x is equal to integral of a to x small f of t dt then then f dash of x is equal to f of x this is the theorem number 6 we have proved and this holds for a is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to b this is the uh, first fundamental theorem that we have proved and we are making use of this theorem now this is uh, here what we have f dash of x is equal to f of x and what is given in this theorem for the same function which is continuous here also this f is continuous on closed bounded interval and here in this theorem what is given is phi dash of x is equal to f of x in the same interval so we shall suppose this as uh, here itself as statement 1 and we shall suppose this as 2 and we will uh, make use of 1 and 2 together so from 1 and 2 we have see their uh, right sides are equal and therefore their left sides must be equal so we will have f dash of x capital f dash of x is equal to phi dash of x and this is for all x in the interval a to b and now we will make use of uh, the theorem number 8 just we have proved if the derivatives are equal the uh, one function is equal to other function plus a constant there may be a difference of constant they may not be equal but they are their difference is constant and therefore by theorem 8 see we have we have f of x capital f of x is equal to phi of x plus a constant and this holds for the interval a to b where c is some constant their derivatives are equal the difference of the function is equal to c means f of x is equal to phi x plus c where uh, c belongs to r now we will uh, suppose uh, this as uh, uh, we can give the number or without the giving the number we can now see what will be f of b and f of a therefore now what is the uh, f of uh, b we will have f of b is uh, see from this uh, result or from this equation f of b will be phi b uh, plus c phi of b plus c and f of a is phi of a plus c and therefore what will be their difference that we shall see and therefore f of b minus f of a will be equal to difference of these two and you can see in the difference this c cancels and we get only phi b minus phi a now we shall see what is f of a 
see f of a can be obtained from this relation you see here it is a f of x. So, now or next what is the f of a f of a in this relation we shall uh, use x is equal to a or we substitute x is equal to a. So, f of a will be integral right side we are putting x is a. So, this will be a to a integral a to a f of t dt and what is the value of this integral? The lower limit and the upper limit is the same and therefore, the interval reduces to a point only and the length of the interval is 0 and therefore, the integral becomes 0 whenever the lower limit and upper limits are equal the integral is 0. So, therefore, f of a is 0 and we shall use this value of f of a in this f of b. Therefore, we have what is uh, f of b. See, we use this f of a equal to 0 here and we will get f of b is equal to uh, the right side is 5 b minus 5 a. But what is f of b? f of b is equal to again from the same relation f of x. See the equation for f of x. f of x is integral a to x f t dt and now we replace x by b and therefore, f of uh, b will be integral a to b f of t dt and thus we shall use this value here in this equation. So, these are simple steps uh, you can understand and that is thus what we get is thus this is f of b means integral a to b f of t dt is equal to the right side is phi of b minus phi of a. And now, we uh, here the variable can be uh, changed uh, from t to x or we can write the left side as integral a to b in place of x uh, we are writing x f of x dx. Here t is in the uh, same interval that is uh, a to uh, b and uh, we have now x in, in the same interval a to b. So, therefore, variable in the definite integral can be changed. In place of t we are writing x integral a to b f of x dx is equal to phi b minus phi and this is what we wanted to prove. This proves the theorem. So, thus uh, we have proved the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Actually, we are using this theorem for evaluating definite integral. So, we use or we obtain first the integral of f and if it is uh, phi then we put the upper limit phi of b and uh, then function becomes phi of b then we put the lower limit the function becomes phi of uh, a or the value and we subtract these two values phi b minus phi or we can consider the illustration of this uh, theorem as uh, let uh, this uh, function uh, we want to evaluate as suppose f of x is equal to let f of x is equal to say uh, 3 x power 4. And uh, now uh, what is uh, the integral of this from 1 to 2? We want to evaluate the integration of this from 1 to 2 and for that we have to find out the function phi whose derivative is this much whose derivative of uh, that function is uh, this uh, x power 4 or I shall consider only x power 4. We have phi of x. So, phi of x will be the derivative of uh, the function is x power 4 that in that way we have to select the function and uh, that function will be x power 5 divided by 5 you see derivative of this function is phi x power 4 divided by phi means x power 4. So, we have phi of x is equal to this. So, that phi dash of x is equal to f of x you see phi dash of x is equal to f of x and uh, let the interval be 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 in this interval and the same interval will be here 1 less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. And therefore, now the integration of uh, f x. 
so therefore by this theorem by theorem 9 integral of uh, a to b f of x which is here the interval is 1 to 2 we have considered the interval as 1 to 2 and what is f of x f of x is x power 4 so this is x power 4 dx and what is uh, this function integral x power 4 we have to consider it as phi of x and limit of uh, this is to be put as upper limit as 2 and the lower limit as 1. So, therefore, we write usually this as integration of x power 4 as x power 5 divided by 5 which is our function phi. So, we have decided first phi and then we are using it here, but actually we use the formula of integration to evaluate this integration of x power n x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So, but in the fundamental theorem of uh, calculus first the function is obtained whose uh, derivative is f of x and that function we have decided first its derivative is this one and now we are only putting this function here or using this function here and uh, the limits are 1 to 2. Now, we shall put the limits as this will be phi of b and that is the upper limit is 2 2 power 5 divided by 5 minus 1 lower limit is 1 that is 1 power 5 divided by 5 what is this this is phi b that is phi 2 minus phi 1 this is phi 2 minus phi 1 and that value is see uh, this uh, phi is common 2 power 5 is 32 minus 1 or that will be 31 divided by 5. So, this is the usual way we are using to evaluate definite integral actually that is from this uh, second fundamental theorem of calculus. So, thus uh, we have proved the second fundamental theorem of calculus and that we are already using and uh, we have seen the illustration according to this theorem to evaluate the definite integral. So, this is about the fundamental theorems of calculus. Thank you for watching the lecture.